Hello, Neiman. Thank you for the time. How did your camp go at King's MMA? Very good. Had a great camp. Trained with the best fighters in the world, and I can't be more ready for this fight. Did you bring Hansel with you for this fight? And is Rafael Cordero also going to be in your corner? Yes, of course. Uh, if Hansel doesn't come to my fight, I won't fight neither. So he has to be here. And how much of an influence was John Danaher for you personally and for your jiu-jitsu game? Oh, it's a big influence. I've been training with John for almost 15 years now. So he's been a huge influence on my game for sure. Good luck on Five Nights, sir. Thank you. Lennon, go ahead. Hey, Neiman. Uh, Lennon, Chris, Sports and Culture Media. How's it going? Good, and you? Doing good. Uh, with the Gracie name intertwined with the MMA community as it is, what is it like getting to carry on that legacy? Man, uh, you, you can have two ways to look at it. You can let all the pressure be on your shoulder and you have all the pressure on you, or you can enjoy and uh, feel grateful to be able to carry the legacy, you know? And that's how I feel. I feel great, uh, grateful to be able to, to carry this legacy and to be out here representing. And I believe I'm doing, doing what I was born to do. So I can be more happy. And uh, what can fans expect uh, this Saturday? A submission. <laughs> Thank you very much. And good luck with your fight. Thank you, brother. Tony. Hey, Neiman. Ho hope you're well. Good. Good, good. I just wanted to, to get your thoughts on, on your last, last fight, and, and obviously it didn't go your way, but what, what did you learn from that fight? Uh, that was a very strange fight, very weird, you know, like they stopped the fight when I was mounted on the guy because he said he couldn't see, then they, they restart the fight, then I thought, personally, I thought I won the fight, you know, I think I won the fight, and I'd like to fight him again, so... Maybe after this one, we can fight again and no more doubts, you know? Best of luck for Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Karen, go ahead. Neiman, thank you for your time. You were very inspiring in that you're the first MMA fighter I'm aware of with Jewish roots, Jewish roots like myself right there. But who is the first person in MMA that you are aware of that has Jewish roots? Oh, good question, man. Uh, the, out of my mind, I can remember um, the only persons that I remember is Haim Gozali and Aviv, his son. Um, I really don't remember, you know, but uh, it's a it's a pleasure for me to 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 carry that also. You know, it's uh, it's something really strong in me, especially like as I grow older and I start learning about the Holocaust and everything that happened. So to be able to be here and, 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 and ha represent my people is also, also very big for me. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Kobe. Hi, Neiman. Kobe, Pro Sports Podcasters here. Good, good to see you. Can't wait to see your fight. Now, your opponent, he's never been submitted. You're calling for the submission. Have you looked at any of his previous fights to see if it was just people that didn't have the skill that you have? Or does he have really impressive submission defense? What do you think? I fought, I think, three or four guys that never had been submitted before. And before the fight, that's what they say. Oh, this guy has 30 fights and he never been submitted. Oh, this guy, he's a black belt in judo and jiu-jitsu and he's never been submitted. Oh, this guy... It's different, you know, everybody that you fight is different. And I believe that I have the best jiu-jitsu in MMA. And it's just, uh, he's fighting a different fighter on the floor, for sure. So we're going to see a clinic on Saturday? I hope so, yeah. That's what I train for, and I, that's what I'm looking to do. Right on. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. All right, just one or two more here. Steven? Hi, uh, Neiman. Um... It's uh, an honor to be speaking to you. Um, a lot of people go on about your family's um, record in MMA, but, but for me personally, I think yours is quite good as well. 12-2. Um, and two. 
my question is, in two weeks' time, Douglas Lima and Michael Venom Page fight again. First of all, will you be watching that one closely as you could potentially fight the winner of that? Who do you think will win and in what way? I think it's, uh, it's hard to say, especially on a striker's battle because it's a striker's battle. It's like two snakes fighting with each other. Whoever beat first will win. So it's hard to say. I think uh, Michael Page was doing better on the first fight until he got caught. But uh, I've been wanting to fight Michael Page for years. And uh, we, we asked for this fight for Bellator before, and it never came to fruition. Like, uh, either he was hurt or he, he wasn't able to train. Or So I hope he wins, you know. And uh, either if he wins or loses his fight, I still want to fight him because I think he's, he's a nice matchup, you know one of the best grapplers in the division and in Bellator against one of the best strikers. So this is a fight that I want to have in the future, for sure, against yeah, MVP. Yeah, great fight to see. Thanks for your time. Thank you, brother. Good, good, good luck, Saturday. Thank you. And last one here, Suki. Hey, Neiman, pleasure to be speaking with you. I feel like 2021 was a big year for you personally. Even though it was for all the right reasons, it must have been tough leaving New York City. So how has it been in Southern California for you on a personal level? And tell us about your time with Coach Cadero and Kings MMA. That's a fast-growing camp right now. Man, it's been amazing. Like, my whole life has changed, you know. Uh, it's like I came back, uh, how can I say, home. Because I was born and raised in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. My house in, in Brazil used to be in front of the ocean. So I used to go to the beach every day and having that beach life. And now I'm kind of back to it, you know. But more important than the beach life and the weather and everything is the team that they have out there. And is the master, Master Rafael Cordero. He's an amazing, amazing coach. And he's been putting a lot of time on me, a lot of work on me. And everybody on the team has been helping me so much. So... I've been training really hard with those guys, and now I have been training with them for a while, and I can't wait to represent them in this fight and bring the victory. Pleasure. Have a good uh, have a good week, and uh, looking forward to the fight, Neiman. Thank you. All right, Neiman. Thank you so much for the time, and good luck on Saturday. Thank you, guys.